Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. There she goes. She should lift up one meter and hover. Okay, so we had to be in the idle position. Unlocked but idling. Okay, right now that quadcopter is going to maintain that position. It's got GPS locked. It's hovering above the spot it just took off from, waiting for my next command. From what I heard, it's hard to crash this thing. <laughs> this is my first GPS quad, and I want to be very careful with it. Let's take it up. The stick's automatic center when, when, when you're not giving commands, so all I have to do now is press the up throttle. And this is the maiden flight. If I lose this quad, I'm going to shoot myself in the head because there's a lot of houses around here. Uh, everybody's got Wi-Fi. I like this so far. I like it. Man. Just let go of the sticks. It's going to stand and hold. This thing has a... 1,000 meter range, which is a little over uh, what, Andre? 1,000 meter, it's over half a mile. Half a mile. Okay, I'm shaking. <laughs> uh, she's just standing there waiting for my next command. So let's. Oh, you know what? I didn't uh, start the camera that's on the quad. She's carrying my SJ Cam 4000, which I haven't turned on yet, so we're going to send it out a little bit and check the return to home feature. Uh, don't go too far, baby. I'm going to activate return to home right now so I can bring it back and start the camera. flight indicator turned red it's very very bright which I heard it was very very bright I think at any time my next command will deactivate the return to home but for now we're gonna see what it does it's hovering it's supposed to come down on its own turn itself off and lock the props by the way, Andre left his wallet on the lawn to uh, mark the spot where we took off from, and we'll see how close we get to it. I tell you what, that's a prettier, better landing than I've ever done manually. Of course, there's a center of error, uh, margin of error, 0.5 meters. <laughs> that's pretty close, that's pretty close. Okay, we brought it down so we could roll film on this. Let's do it again with the one button take off. Oh, I know what's going on here. I got to deactivate that return to home feature. She's at home. It's not going anywhere. Good girl. Okay, unlocking the props. Remember, you had to, it has to be locked. Okay, let me lock the props. <laughs> Andre's got his wallet there to uh, mark the spot. We're going to activate the t automatic takeoff button. Camera's rolling. I'm not touching anything. Looks like it gets stuck on the ground a little bit. On the grass. Yeah, I've seen that. That's why I have prop guards on it. Uh, this quadcopter didn't come with prop guards. I ordered those separately. Now, I'm not sure how high Amita is, but automatic takeoff, she comes up and hovers at one meter. There's also a way to hook this quadcopter up to your PC and, and do the uh, flight programming. Uh, it wasn't, no instructions in the manual for that, but there's some YouTube videos. I want to try that. Want to try what? Send it somewhere and have it come back. Oh, uh, it's, it's not like the Cheerson. It's not mission planner, but I can uh, alter some of the perimeters. For instance, uh, automatic takeoff instead of one meter, I can tell it to hover at 10 meters. Uh, uh, while flying, if you press return to home, it's gonna go up 20 meters and return to home to avoid trees and uh, 
but you can also increase that to 50 meters. So no matter wherever you are, it's going to rise before it return to home. I'm going to try flying it around low level, up and down the street a little bit. Okay, almost a, uh, there's no manual mode. It's always GPS locked. Anytime you let go of the sticks, it's going to stop wherever it is. Why don't you and see what happens when you go out of range? Uh, it's going to, uh, that... Return to home? That bright green light, yeah, it's going to activate the return home. But that flight indicator, that flashing green light tells you a lot. It tells you, uh... Well, right now, those two green lights are telling me I have more than six satellite locks on it. Uh, if I activate headless mode, it's going to change to another color or blink a different speed or... Headless mode, return to home mode. Uh, there's also the same button I pressed for automatic takeoff can make it do an automatic land over the spot wherever it's at. It's not like return to home. Oh, I like this though, dude. Now, that's some George Jessen futuristic shit right there. That The way she hovers, uh, there's almost no wind today, but there's got to be a little breeze up there. And she's holding that spot. Let's try a couple okay. of uh, 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 rotations. Most, most expensive skeet shooting. Y'all finesse test. That's sweet. That's sweet. Forward on the stick. Backwards on the stick. Ah, uh, that's a sweet camera bird right there. Slide to the left. Okay, we're gonna fly back over what we call in our neighborhood the Bermuda Triangles, cause. Me and my son, Andre, you on camera, <laughs> and a few of our neighbors, we like to fly kites. I have a gimbal for this, but I haven't put it on it yet. This is the maiden flight with the stock camera mount and my SJ4000 camera. The XK Detect 380. I'm babying it. I'm not, I haven't floored it. <laughs> I haven't pushed the stick. This, that's about pushing it. <laughs> She's flying as fast as she'll go right now. Let's bring it overhead. Over our neck of the woods. This is frightening because I'm used to when you let go of the stick, something stupid is going to happen. But this thing has the two center springs and uh, whenever you let go of the stick it goes back to neutral and it'll stop. Let's try a descent. Should come down right above its current position. Mosquitoes. Okay, bring it forward. I bought bug, bug spray today. Hmm? I bought bug, bug spray today. Oh, I thought you bought that for some project at school or something. Just fly over our head, take it to the back side of that neighborhood. I've heard so much about how bright that flight indicator light is on the back side. Flashing green light. It's supposed to be very nice, easy to see even in the bright sunlight. Thirty minutes of flight. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It'll probably take the rest of the evening to uh, charge the battery. Charge the battery. <laughs> I ordered another battery. It's coming. I found spare batteries for this for about forty-four dollars. I watched a YouTube video. Uh, some guy in Asia, one of the Asian countries. Uh, but in the description of his video, he listed a high mode. And I don't think this thing has but one mode. We're talking speed now. Of course, you could change it from mode one to mode two. 
There's no high mode for say to make it fly any faster, but as for a camera bird, it's flying fast enough. Looks like a news chopper. <laughs> Let's go get some neighborhood footage. I think that's a good place again. Let's activate the return to home button. Okay. All right. Pressing the return to home button is supposed to turn this butt to up toward us. Which uh, later when I hook it up to a PC, you should be able to alter those perimeters. You can make it fly forward toward you. But for a rookie, wow, she's flying back faster than she flew away. We marked the spot with Andre's wallet and it's starting to get a little dark out here, but she's in automatic return to home mode. I, I'm not touching any of the sticks. Cop is pretty much over our head uh, or pretty much over our house. <laughs> I will jump in and any, any command on the sticks will give me back control of the head the quadcopter. This is so cool. Dustin Dunhill said uh, you, you almost can't crash this. Take your word for it Dustin. I, I was supposed to take this out to a park or a playground but I've had this copter almost two weeks now and haven't flown it yet. And I'm like man that's enough for that. This time a little bit further from the wallet, but looks like it lands within two still meters of the starting point. Two meters, you so think? Make sure you don't launch it from a closed area. Right. Oh yeah. Because it'll it'll land on something you don't want it to land on. <laughs> okay. This time I remember to deactivate the return to home. I'm going to do a manual takeoff here now. Our SJ cam should be still running. Let me unlock the props. Oh, that is so sweet. Let me get a little closer. She's whispering. You can't hear it. My tarantula makes more noise than that. She's so quiet. Okay, let's make some noise, baby. <laughs> 